guys, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. So glad you tuned in. And yes, I'm going to be doing a cleaning of a handbag, a $5 handbag that I got at the flea market for $5. It's a Kate Spade. Really nice handbag, but in horrible condition. Uh, it needs a lot of TLC. It's pretty cruddy and filthy. And you know how I like a challenge. If you have not seen the cleaning of the Burberry handbag that I did some time ago, uh, check it out. I'll leave it in the description box below. But this bag is in worse condition than that bag was. And I'll be using my tried and trusted household items that I always use. And I have 10 household items that I recommend every thrifter should have. Uh, and if you have not seen that video, I'll also leave that in the description box below so you can check it out. But yes, I will be using those. And disclaimer, I am not a professional at cleaning handbags. I've probably done minor research on, you know, how to clean handbags, nothing extensive. A lot of what I've learned is through trial and error. So if you see me using a product on this handbag that I should not be using and it makes you cringe, you know why. I'm not a professional. And so... Whatever mistakes I make, you can avoid making those mistakes. So I'm doing it for you guys. So we're going to get in there. We're going to get down and dirty, guys. And when I say down and dirty, down and dirty, it's like really bad. It's bad. It is bad. So anyway, stay tuned if you want to see the cleaning of the handbag. And hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have a nice, clean, usable handbag. So stay tuned. This is the bag that I got from the flea market. This is a Kate Spade bag, red pebble leather, and I got it for $5 and it needs some work. So I'm going to try and revive this bag and bring some life into it. So let's take a close look at it. So as you can see, the Kate Spade stamping is a little bit faded. I did find this bag online and I forgot the name of that style of bag right off the top of my head, but I'll put it in the description box below. So it has this kind of a natural hide interior, but the interior is extremely filthy. So before we get into the filth, let's take a look at the structure of the bag. So it's a little bit slouchy, as you can see. So whoever had this bag really loved on it. It's got a lot of wear on the corners, as you can see there. It does have the four feet on the bottom, which are a little bit twisted there, but it does have the four feet, as you can see. And the stitching seems to be in good condition. No threading is coming loose. One of the little uh, squares on here was loose, so I've already glued that to keep it from shifting. Um, it was kind of one of those snap kind of closures, so I took a hammer and hammered it, but I put some glue in it to reinforce it. So I've done that already. Now let's take a look at this terrible, horrible inside. I don't know how the inside of a person become this filthy, but once again, here is another filthy handbag. So I hope that lighting captures it. So yeah, it's pretty cruddy in there. Just looks like somebody went walking on the inside of the bag. Well, they used it as a shoe probably. I don't know what happened. This is just horrendous. So my goal is to get that nice and clean as much as possible. Kind of get it like at least as clean as this area here of the bag. Get that clean. I did want to show the stamping on the inside. So here's the stamping on the inside of the bag. Kate Spade, New York, made in Italy. And um, so I'm going to clean the inside first, then I will use, oops, excuse me, I will use Woolite for the cleaning of the inside and just some cleaning cloths and some warm water and just scrub the inside of it. And then for the outside, of course, I'm going to use this Kiwi Leather Lotion and buff it and condition it. I was considering dyeing the bag, but we'll see how it looks after I do just those simple cleaning uh, things. And uh, just so you know, uh, like I said, I bought the bag for $5 and I didn't want to invest any dye and buy anything, just use what I already had. Um, so we're going to see how good I can get it looking for just $5. So this um, was a handmade structure that came in the bag and I'm sure that the person who um, 
I've already washed it, but it looks like a little detergent was left on it. But the person that had the bag used this to reinforce the bag to give it a little bit more structure and probably because they didn't feel like cleaning the inside, so they made an insert. So this was actually inside the bag when I got it. And uh, let's see if we can get it back in there so you can see. But I've already washed that, so this went on the inside of the bag. And since I'm filming with one hand, this is kind of difficult, so bear with me. But yeah, it's kind of like one of those little purse organizers. So whoever designed it, designed it so that it would go inside of the bag like that. So I do plan on still using that insert because I thought that was a pretty cool idea, but I am going to clean it first. So now I've shown you the before. Now we're gonna get to the cleaning and then I'll show you the after. OMG, this is just from two wipings on the bottom of that bag. OMG is all I can say. This is like, I mean, it looks like I took this rag and just wiped the dirt. Just wiped the pure God made dirt on the ground. But it was the inside of this bag. You just never know what you're buying, guys. I need gloves on. I truly need to put some gloves on. So I am going to put gloves on and then get back to work. This is just the grossest thing. But anyway, that's just from a couple of swipes. Well guys, this is the water um, that I have been using to clean the bag and my lighting's kind of poor in here. But yeah, it's pretty filthy, it's pretty dirty. It looks like the mighty Mississippi in here. And this bag, I tell you, it's got a long way to go. And I don't even know if I can get all of those stains out of there, but at least it will be cleaner than it was by the time I get through. And yes, I have gloves on, I had to. That was just no way. Let me see if I can get near this window so you can see a little bit better. So yeah, I'm scrubbing it and trying to get, but you can see those stains are still there. And I'm just gonna have to blow dry this um, interior to get it uh, dry when I'm done. But I'm gonna scrub some more, but I'm gonna change out this water first. And like I say, it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you the results. All right guys, so I have scrubbed and scrubbed this lining and it is not coming any cleaner than what it is now. So I have used bleach, concentrated bleach on this and it's still not coming out. I have used grandma's on the ink stain, so I'm just going to uh, finish drying this with the blow dryer and call it a day for the inside because I have used wool light, I have used bleach, I have scrubbed it, rinsed it. I mean, I changed my water out several times and rinsed it out, and so I'm just done. I'm just done. As they say, you can stick a fork in me because I am done. So, time to move on to the outside, and then we'll be done. Thank God I, it came with that insert, and I will definitely be using that because I threw that joker in the washer, and it is ready to use, so we're going to do that. Nobody's going to know uh, about all those things. So, that's the latest. Be back in a minute. Well guys, I got the bright light shining on my camera so you can see how much dirt stains are still in there even after scrubbing. So sometimes the success is not at the level that you want it, but I wish I had put the light on it bright like this in the beginning. It is better than it was because it was like pure blackness before, but um yeah i just wish everything was as clean as that like one little spot right there that would be so cool but yeah it really doesn't look all that great now take this leather lotion and squeeze it on the cloth and then i'm going to begin cleaning it from there and then that will be the end of this session and i was thinking about doing a 
DIY on this purse and maybe doing a love purse graphic design and putting the word love and different styles of fonts all over the bag in black since black and red are my favorite colors. Jazz it up and make it different um, for $5. I don't see why that would, you know, not be a good thing to do. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Should I do that or should I just leave it as is? But anyway, let me get back to the cleaning. So I am putting uh, the coat of leather cleaner on there and already is getting kind of this lusterness to it. That was a little wet stain that I accidentally got on there. So that'll dry up and go away. But um, yeah, I'm buffing it and only a little bit of the dye is coming off on the red for the most part. So I'm just going to continue doing that. All right, guys, as I was lotioning the bag, I realized that I missed a spot. How could I miss this? So in this little crease here, as you can see, there is quite a bit of debris there. So what I was considering doing was taking a Q-tip and just cleaning along there as best I can uh, with the Q-tip. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Um, and that's hard to film and do with one hand, but I'm definitely going to get in there and clean that out really, really good. And then I think I'm done. All right. So as you can see, I'm getting quite a bit of filth using the Q-tips. I'm going to have to go through and swipe several more times and get the rest of that filth out. There's something really satisfying about cleaning, guys. So... Once I get started cleaning, then I want to clean everything. That's usually how it goes. So uh, I'm going to get back to this and we'll be done in just a bit. All right, guys. So this is the bag after it's been done. I'm going to do some still photos and some side-by-side -side comparisons because a lot of times you can't really see um, the difference when the differences are so subtle. So um, the wear on there is still there, but like I said, I did lotion it up. So I was thinking about, like I say, doing some graphic design on this bag. So please let me know in the comments below if I should do a DIY and like do graphic designs on it. And um, I was gonna do love and different type graphics, like I said earlier and just do that in black and red. So I'm gonna stuff it, do some still photos. Thank you so much for watching, I'll be right back. Just wanted to share that as I was cleaning this bag, I noticed that when I pulled out the inside zip pocket, there was a code there. And I don't know if this authenticates it as being a true Kate Spade bag, but another marking that I noticed also was on the snap closure. It does have Kate Spade there as well. Thought I'd share that. So thank you so much for tuning in, for watching this video on cleaning and trying to restore this Kate Spade handbag. This was a major fail in my eyes <laughs> to me. Well, I shouldn't say major fail because I mean, I did give it a try, but I did not get the results that I had hoped for, especially with the interior of the bag. So if you have any suggestions on what I could have done differently as to seeing a better result with the inside, please let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to answer some questions that some of you might be having. I'm just kind of being presumptuous and assuming that you might have some questions. Would I resell this bag? No, I would not resell this bag. I would dare not put this on Poshmark or anywhere uh, with the inside looking the way that it does. Now, structurally, it's a really good bag. If the inside were impeccable, then yes, I would resell it. Um, will I carry the bag myself? Yes, I will carry the bag myself because I know that I've cleaned it and it does have the insert in there. So, and nobody's going to be rummaging through my bag. So yes, I would personally carry it. Now, a question for you. Uh, as I asked earlier, should I do a DIY on this and do the love graphics on it by doing the word love and different fonts all over the bag? I'd love to hear from you. Or would you invest in uh, dyeing the bag yourself? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Or should I leave it 
as is. I love to hear from you. But thank you so much for taking the time to even watch this video. I appreciate it. The only reason why I did it is because the other video got so many views, so I thought I'd do it again. So this is what it looks like on the shoulder. It's a nice size bag, and uh, proportion-wise, it fits my body. I'm five seven and a half. And so, um, yeah, it's a good size bag. But anyway, that's my review on the cleaning of this bag. Please uh, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for tuning in. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. And I'll see you next time.